Hey everyone, it's Gary here, one of the Digital Boost trainers, and we are going to very quickly make a, a movie using Windows Movie Maker, which I've got installed on my laptop. And the premise here is we're going to make a movie which is all about promoting this workshop. So I'm not going to use footage of yourself, but uh, very kindly the last attendees gave me the permission to, to use them. So I've taken a whole load of clips that day. So all we're going to do is, is we're going to start by, with Windows Movie Maker open, uh, we're going to go into the Add photos and videos t uh, button so if we click that it'll pop up a, a browse folder or indeed the easier way to do it is simply to go and grab the uh, the, the folder and as I can see as you can see I can simply select all the movie clips and all I'm going to do is drag them off into the Windows Movie Maker stage. So that's us got them all added. Now normally that takes a little bit of time but I've sped up the process there. So we now have, uh, I don't know, uh, 20 or so clips. Um, it takes, uh, if I was just to play it right now, you'd see it be a little bit dull and boring, a little bit clunky, some background noise there of me walking down Paisley High Street. And every clip would simply play into the next one um, and not make for a very exciting video of any sort. Um, so let me just hit pause on that. And as you can see, as I drag the the uh, the, the, the the line, it takes us uh, through all the various clips. We've got me coming in the building. You've got me putting on the coffee machine, climbing up the stairs, going into the actual room, having a little look at the logo. Um, be close up on my screen. There's the people waiting to begin the workshop. Here's me looking out the window. Uh, and then I start off and I get them to do a little bit of a wave and hello to me and here's little waves, nice little thumbs up there, we might use that later on at the end of the video, that's quite nice. Again, more smiling waves. I, I, then we do some filming of group work. Um, then we've got um, a little bit more, a little bit of shot of my screen um, and then just a wee kind of final uh, kind of uh, filler shot of the, some of the camera uh, kit being used. So that's the, the gist of it. It's a three and a half minute video. The first thing I'm going to do, as I say, because there is audio on here, which you can hear when I when I actually properly play it, is we're going to make it a silent movie. So I'm going to click on the first uh, clip. I'm going to shift click on the end clip and I'm going to go into the edit tab of uh, Movie Maker and simply go over to video volume and put volume right down to zero. And now if I press play, we now have the whole, exactly as it was, the whole video um, very much um, as a silent movie. So no audio now being played. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is use the uh, one of the most commonly used features of any video editing software, which is the split tool. So I'm going to go into my first clip. I'll just use this as the example here. It's a little bit too long. I've recorded too much footage here. You might have rec rec recall the um, some some uh, advice from earlier on, which is let a clip run for seven seconds so that you've got enough footage in there to know what you want. Chances are you might not want the full seven seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the whole video here, which means I can right click and use the the split function and because I've just split it I've now got that one clip into two so I can select the first one and hit delete and off it goes which means I'm now just starting I'm tightening that clip up a little bit just by splitting it and deleting off the bits I don't want I'm going to do the same on the next clip it's going to come into the next clip I don't need to start with such a dramatic walk up I'm going to start a little bit closer um, let's just start here and again I'm going to split and I'm going to delete the earlier bit so now it goes from walking down the high street much quicker up to the front of the incube center and actually I tried something here where I zoom in on the logo it doesn't quite work so I'm actually going to split it there a little bit before it get rid of that second part and now it comes up to the front of the building up to the front door and has me walking in I'll maybe split that just a little bit earlier split it there and get rid of that part there. Now what you can see has happened now as I go in the building I then go straight to the coffee machine Now that's not quite what happened uh, these clips have come in in a little bit of the wrong order what should have been the next one is maybe this one here me coming into the and seeing the welcome mat and then walking into the building so simply all I'm going to do is grab this little clip and drag it to where I want it and where I want it is just after I come in the door so again, I come in the door, I, I walk through the entrance mat, and I come up to the sign. I'm going to split that there, get rid of the rest of it, which means I can then drag the sign over to here. How does that look? That now looks like me coming in the entrance mat, walking up, looking at the sign, and there's a wee close-up of the sign in cube, it says. And off we go, I then go and make coffee. 
Um, okay, so getting there now. Um, let's have a little quick look at making sure the order of these is right. Um, let's drag the one of me climbing the steps after the logo. Let's, um, and in actual fact, let's look at this clip because it isn't the best. It's just a lot of me climbing a fairly narrow staircase. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it here and I'm going to split and I'm going to get rid of the most of the climb. It's going to come out of the logo. It's going to be opening the door through the next door and coming into the kitchen area, which is here. Let me hit split. Then what I can do is I can drag in my coffee maker in between that split. So it's got me coming into the room, seeing the coffee maker, making some coffee, grabbing my coffee, and and grabbing my. Co I think I'll just split it. I think I'll just stop it there. Split there. Get rid of the rest of it. So what have we got? We've got me grabbing the coffee, and then off we go into the room and we're going to take a bit of a close up on the screen and what I'll then do is I will maybe leave it round about there and split reason being that allows me to roll into the next one okay you get where we're going. Right, we could do this with, for a few other uh, clips of course. This one here is maybe a little bit too long and then it looks out the window. Do you know what? Let me just um, split it there. We don't really need the looking out the window shot. Then we've got looking out the window. Let's delete that one. Then we've got some nice waves. That's a nice little wave. Let me just tighten that up just a little bit. I'll split that there. And delete and then we've got a nice wave and then we've got oh something definitely went wrong there clearly I was holding the camera upside down at that point so we def definitely want to split that and get rid of it so there's um, a nice shot there and we'll split and we'll get rid of the rest of the clip which is me dropping the camera or turning it upside down for some reason there's a nice little wave goes into the next one for a nice little thumbs up I like that do you know what let me um, go with the next one there's a wave, there's a wave, come into the next one, there's a wave and a wave again, they're all fine, and there's me sweeping around the table, finishing with again a nice little wave, then we've got group work, I could tighten these things up, of course I could do a bit of that, but actually, do you know what, we're probably almost done, let me just tighten any of that up that need to be done, nice little shot in the book, then a nice little look around the room, picture of the screen, and finishing on a bit of that. Right, a few other things let's let, let's work on. Let's take the picture of the screen because that was before the group work and let's drag that in here because that was the, the basically we looked at the screen and then we did the group work. So let me move that one. Let me go in, there was a crack in one of a thumbs up, I think it was in this one. Let me just play this. Here's the little wave and here is the thumbs up. Okay, I like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish with that one. That's a nice one to finish on. So I'm gonna grab that one to the end and that'll, fi that'll allow the whole video to finish with a, a nice wee thumbs up um, and if we just now hit play well actually if I do it, it's still two minutes long, two and a half minutes long, it's still far too long what we're now going to do is I'm going to select all of the clips and I'm just going to use a lovely little feature I like to use for this type of video which is just to speed the whole thing up. I'm going to make it four times the speed so again I'm on my edit tool I'm going to click on four times speed. My video is now 36 seconds long and if I now just play it it looks a little bit like this. It's fast and furious, it's walking up to the door, it's going in the door, it's pausing on the map, it's looking at the logo, up the stairs, grabbing some coffee, uh, into the room you get the point. It's now a little bit uh, nippier, a little bit speedier, a little bit better. Now some of these I, can, I might actually want to slow down again. I'm maybe losing some of the focus here. So we'll come back and revisit that in a second. It's looking at everyone doing their group work. Right, let's do a couple of things. Let's go into here. I want to slow down on the mat. On, on the, I don't want to zoom away from the InCube logo too much on the mat. On the mat. So I'm going to split it here as I'm just about to leave it. Which means I can take the first clip and slow it back down. I'll make this twice speed. So now we're going to go four speed into the building. Twice speed coming away from the mat and then back to four speed. 
that looked okay. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the coffee because again, you, if it's going too fast, you lose some of the detail here. So I'm going to come up to the coffee. It's going to split it here. I'm going to go into the second clip where it says coffee is now ready, please enjoy. And my hand's going to go down and grab it. I'm going to split it there and I'm going to make that little clip again twice speed just to make it slow down, a little bit slower on that part, grabbing the coffee and good to go. Now we're in the room. Right, um, let's go to here. Let's a little bit of a zoom around the room. Do you know what? There's not much in that clip. Let's just delete that clip entirely. Let's just start with a little bit of a wave. And then there's the two girls. And then there's this chap here. And let me just split it there. Delete that first one. It's got a nice little wave there. It's moving on to the second one. Got a nice little wave into the third one, nice wave, wave again. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to the last clip where it, we, that lady waves and then we're going to move into the last wee bit. I'm going to split here. It's going to move a little bit forward. There's the thumbs up. I'm going to split here just so that I can break this down into different clips to apply different speeds to. And then this last one here, I'm going to make one speed this clip just before it, I'm going to slow it slightly down by making two speed. How does that look? Let's go from here into here, into the wave, and into the nice slow thumbs up to finish. I like that. Okay. Right. Now we've got a 39 second video because we've been clipping it, we've been making it faster, we've been uh, speeding things up, we've also been slowing a couple of things down. Um, all we're now going to do is add in a title slide. So we're going to go to our. Um, home screen and we're going to add in title and I'm just going to call this making movies it's hardly original you'll come up with a better name I'm sure for your own making movies and do you know what well, we're in Paisley that day so let's just add in in Paisley and if I just grab that and make that a little bit smaller I'll make that 20 speed and now we hit play we then have the title slide called making movies that's probably too long in fact let's just go in and edit that right now let's click it um, duration let's make the duration um, 5 on the text and let's bring the actual slide down by double clicking it and making the duration 5 on that as well so it's now a 5 second title slide it plays the title and then moves into the first First slide. Now again, it was very much up from one to the other, quite quite jarringly. Let's add a little bit of a transition in here now. So we go into our animations. Now look at this. We could do any number of crazy transitions. You could do some star bursts. You could do some um, some uh, some crisscross patterns and all the rest of it. For me, my favourite transition is simply blurring. So if I'm if I'm coming from a, a predominantly black slide, then I'm going to simply blur through black. Um, what I'll also do, I'll click right down towards the very end. I'm going to add in uh, another, I'll just call it a title slide. Oops, it's coming at the wrong place. If I just drag it to the end, and if I double click, and I'm just going to say thanks for coming because this is a uh, thanks for watching, we'll say. Um, and again, maybe we have the web address of the next workshop that's about to uh, come along. After all, this is a promotional video to promote the workshop. And if I click on it and I go into animations again, I can just go from a um, a blur, a blur into the the, uh, the the title slide. So we're nearly done. We've now got this, which says "Making Movies in Paisley." It plays quite nicely. It then has me walking down Paisley High Street, uh, walking up to the incube, going through the door, looking at the mat. Off we go, looking at the logo, climbing the stairs, opening the door, making a quick cup of coffee, and off we go with the workshop. There's all the people and then we make a quick start and they start giving me a little bit of a wave and off we go and then we do some group work after I give them the instructions on the slide and then they're chatting and then we're looking at some other stuff um, there's a nice wee, bit, nice wee bit in here somewhere where somebody's looking at it. there we go I like that let me go to that part and split it there and let me just move it a little bit forward and split it there and then I can take this this one just before, go to edit it, bring the speed down a little bit to twice speed, go to the notepad, make it maybe 1.5 speed. That should look a little bit better. Should take us in on the notepad a little bit, allow you to see some of the notes. And off we go again, and there's some of the chat, and there's some waves, and there's a thumbs up to finish. And then it says, thanks for watching. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, the last thing we're going to do is, 
is while I've made it a silent movie, we're at, we are a, a, we are going to make it a, a movie with some audio, some 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 uh, a backing track. So one of my favourite sites for getting things like that is this one here called bensound.com. So we're now looking at a, a website called bensound.com, and all the tracks here are royalty free, albeit you do have to credit them in your description as you add this to YouTube or to um, to uh, to Facebook or whatever. So I'm going to probably go for the sound Happy Rock. Let me just quickly hit play to this. A little bit of a, a high tempo upbeat soundtrack. Apologies if that, uh, you know, the noise levels there just uh, scared you. Um, let me hit download to this and I'm going to download the free version, the free license. Um, and I've now, it's now coming down here. You can see it's called Ben Sound Happy Rock. And if I simply just um, show in my folder. I'm now going to just grab that file and drag it on to wherever I choose to put it. Well, obviously, I'm going to put it at the start of the movie. And now, if I maximize my movie, So there we go, you get the point. Um, I'd probably tidy it up a little bit more, I'd, I'd maybe tweak the ending a little bit, I'd maybe fade the audio to, to nothing so that it fades out quite nicely, um, and I'd maybe I'd probably have added in a few more slides, you know, showing what the actual workshop activity was. Um, but you get the point. Next thing, lastly all I do is I go up and I, file, I save my project, and you just save, what, what to be, save, save whatever you want it to be called within Windows Movie Maker to allow you to go back and edit it within uh, Movie Maker later on. And then lastly, you actually save the thing out. So if I do file, um, save movie, now I always tend to send to save it as a high definition display movie. Um, it will take a wee bit to save that out. So I'm not going to keep recording while I do that but what you've then got is a high definition high quality movie it'll be nice and uh, HD quality that when you then upload to YouTube later on for people to view it it's going to be crystal clear it's going to be really nice uh, audio nice uh, nice um, uh, uh, resolution quality pictures and there you have it that's uh, using some of the very basic tools on Windows Movie Maker to create, hopefully, as you've seen, a, a nice little movie made purely out of little clips that you've maybe taken that day at an event or a, 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 a in your office or out, out and about. Um, stitch them together in the right order, um, remove the audio, maybe think about some transitions, speed them up, slow them down, and a uh, little bit of a title at the start, a little bit of a title at the end, and then drop in a nice um, uh, audio soundtrack, and you're good to go. Movie done. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.